Hey there, Michael Church with CrawlSpaceNinja.com and today I'm going to kind of go over a simple way of how to make sure that your sump pump in your basin is installed properly in the crawl space. And uh, this is what's called a Jack L. It's uh, actually it's the way they pronounce it, J-A-C-K-E-L, uh, sump pump basin and lid. It's fantastic. This is available on our website. Um, but if you notice, it's got uh, three punch outs. Um, which is which is great. You got uh, this is a blank, and then you got this for the wire, and this is for your one and a half inch PVC. Uh, the only thing you'll need to add if you feel necessary is you'll need to use a two and a three quarter inch hole saw and make another hole for the uh, dranger drain. Uh, I mentioned this in our unboxing video that I've got, but uh, uh, the sump pump unboxing video. But what this drain does is, as you can see in this picture here, this shows you the install of it. Uh, if water, you know, everybody's concerned about groundwater, which is what the sump pump is designed to do, but when you encapsulate the crawl space, if you don't have a way for that surface water that may get on the plastic to go into the sump pump, then you're just creating a swimming pool. Okay, so what the Dranger drain does is it mounts flat into the sump pump basin, so if water, and normally the water would come from a flood, copper line bus, something like that. If flood water comes on the plastic, it gives the access to the sump pump. You certainly don't want to go through all the trouble of creating a dry, clean, and healthy crawl space and then get a flood from above and then have a huge swimming pool in your crawl space. So that's what the Dranger drain does. But this guy comes pre-made with all the knockouts, all right? And then you've got your, uh, your uh, Jack L Basin, okay, as you can see, it's pretty deep. Uh, it's perforated all around everywhere except the bottom. Uh, they don't perforate the bottom. There's really not a need to do that. So the sump pump will fit inside there. And the only thing I'm not really gonna go over today is, is the, uh, uh, the gravel, or we like to use pea gravel, so just get you like six or eight bags of pea gravel from Home Depot or Lowe's, and you wanna fill around this basin, about two inches all the way around the basin, full of pea gravel. So you dig the hole, you put this in, you make sure this is level with the ground, and then you fill all this with pea gravel, and that way it's the aggregate to sift the soil. You don't wanna get mud and stuff like that going in the sump pump basin because it'll mess up the sump pump, okay? So let's go ahead and go through, and this is, uh, I just did an unboxing of this big guy. This is our half horsepower cast iron uh, Flowtech unit. Moves about 4,800 gallons of water per hour. Uh, you can shoot it 10, 12 feet up into the air. The higher you go, the less effective it becomes, but it's still very, very powerful. It's got a five-year warranty on it. I love the cast iron sump pump. This, in my opinion, is probably the best pump on the market. There's a lot of great pumps out there, but this is the one we exclusively use uh, in our crawl spaces. So what I'm gonna show you here is there's uh, the wiring. You'll, of course, need to have yourself a, uh, uh, an outlet in the crawl space. So the float switch, here is this, and then this is power to the pump. So the float switch kicks on and off as needed. It gives you power to the pump, okay? The lid of the basin gives you uh, access for your electrical. So you just take this guy off, you run your electrical through, and then that way you got that part taken care of. And then you'll just plug this in when you're all done. This actually has some knockouts, so you can make this hole bigger if you want, so that that'll put back in. I'm not gonna do that for this video, but you can see you can actually cut this out a little larger so that this seals around, okay? So that's what this is for. This is only designed for one wire, so you'd have to make it a little larger for two, okay? And it just cut a little bit bigger hole for the second one. All right, then you've got this knockout. Now this is for the uh, one and a half inch PVC line. So you just take it and you put it through like that. And you take this off. One of the things you don't want to forget when installing the sump pump, I mentioned the Dranger drain. I think that's super important. I don't know of anybody else in our area that installs the Dranger drain. So if you're uh, looking for some help locally here in Knoxville or Chattanooga, Asheville, North Carolina, London, Kentucky, or uh, Cookville, Tennessee, then you can call us and we we'll give you an estimate on this kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, the check valve is very important. So the check valve actually screws on. See right here, goes right here. 
I'm just going to hand tighten it just for the sake of that. And then this, you would want to put some PVC glue, heavy duty PVC glue in here. And then that'll slide right over the check valve. There you go. Then you put this over to seal it. Make sure that your sump pump is level inside the basin, okay? So that way it'll work properly. Make sure it's in the right spot. You can actually move it around a little bit. That's pretty level. This is sealed. So one of the things about this knockout is it has the ability so that you can access the, uh, the unit if you need to. Maybe you're, you're concerned that it's even working or not. So you can look in there and see if the basin's full of water and there's no water being pumped out. You know the, the pump's messed up. Uh, the other thing you can do is to test it out. If there's not a lot of water in there, you can fill uh, this with a hose and uh, flush out the system. So it's nice to have this knockout uh, not being used. Just cover it up. You don't want soil and humidity coming out of the soil gases and humidity coming out. So you want to keep it closed. Uh, the other thing I would suggest you get is this little uh, one and a half inch um, uh, gasket. All right, and the reason why you use this is this gives you a quick disconnect. So you got uh, your, your sump pump PVC coming up and then you're gonna run your PVC up and out of the crawl space, okay? We always take it up to the uh, ceiling of the crawl space. So we come up, go to the ceiling. We use these little guys to, to connect it to the ceiling because uh, this guy's moving a lot of water. So if you don't have it properly secured, it could actually vibrate and different things like that. So using these, they're also available on our website as an add-on to the sump pump. Uh, these little uh, one and a half inch clamps secure everything. Use your PVC 90s and 45s. If you ever have to replace the sump pump, all you gotta do is just loosen this up, pull it down, move the pipe out of the way, you can pull everything out and you don't have to like sawzall anything. So that's pretty much it, I think. Oh, uh, whenever you go outside, uh, this is gonna be your uh, NDS um, pop-up valve. And the reason why we like using these is because uh, you can mow over it, it's hidden in the grass and all that kind of stuff. So you run your discharge line outside the crawl space, go under the soil to protect it from freezing, and then you're gonna pop up. So as the water turns on, it pops up this valve. As it turns off, it shuts it. And that way it also protects mice and stuff. If you just have an open PVC pipe, which I've seen our competitors do, they just have like this weird PVC pipe running out. Uh, the, other, the only other thing you might want to think about getting if you're in a climate that's really, really cold is you can get a freeze guard, um, which helps to keep pipes from freezing. And uh, maybe I can show you a picture of that here. Here's what a freeze guard looks like. And uh, this is what it looks like installed. So if, if you're in like up in Ohio or in Michigan or you know places like that where you got like some serious Boston, serious cold weather, uh, I would recommend a freeze guard. By the way, everything I showed you also applies to basements. If you're looking to do a basement waterproofing job, this is a great basin and sump pump for a basement waterproofing as well. But of course, we're the crawl space ninjas, so that's what we're going to talk about. So I hope this was informative for you. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to take you down in a crawl space and put it in, but it's kind of hard to do. So I just wanted to go through the basics of how to install it. So make sure you dig a good pit, have everything level, put everything inside, get you uh, all the materials you need on our DIY store. And uh, my name is Michael Church with uh, CrawlSpaceNinja.com. If you have any questions below or links to our stores in our comments below, please let us know. And uh, I hope you make it a great and blessed day. And thanks for watching.